Oh my God, I love him. They found the most base man in Florida. What the f It's like, yeah, it's Florida. What do you think? Way would not do well today in this culture. He would, he was just the opposite of everything they're trying to woke us up today. If Ernie Timingway were here today, I'm sure he would be totally canceled. No doubt about it. So, should we go to the uh, Ernest Hemingway lookalike competition? Let's what? do this. What the fuck? All right, here we are. We're in Key West, Florida. Behind us is Sloppy Joe's Bar. That's where the Ernest Hemingway lookalike competition takes place. It's called Hemingway Days. What do they call the Hemingway impersonators? Papas. We haven't actually seen any papas quite yet. It's hard to tell because a lot of people here kind of look old. They're kind of fat and they have beards. Some of them have red berets. You think that guy's a papa? Can we zoom in on that guy right there? Nick. Sir, sir, sir are, you, are, are you a papa? Yes, I am. What does it mean to be a papa? You got to look like this. What do you think? This actually is a lot of charity that goes from this. A lot of kids get scholarships, nursing scholarships, college helps this community here. Uh, he's a veteran. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, my God, he's my idol. Final of seven times. This Ernest is my Hemingway. idol. I'm Ernest Hemingway. I'm going to be the guy tonight. I mean, I've been to his house in Cuba. You know, not many people can say that. What makes you more Ernest Hemingway than the other guys? Making love every day. Every day? That's what Papa Hemingway would have done. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'd say sex had a lot to do with it. What's the largest uh, animal you've ever taken down? Big bull elk. You strangle it? No. Oh, shot with a 30 out 6 I'm an excellent shot, just like Ernest Hemingway was. Well, Ernest Hemingway wrote about life, the running of the bulls in, in Spain. He publicized that. He was too young to fight in World War I. He became an ambulance driver. He was close to the war. He commanded a room when he came in, and I don't really. Bro, this is so weird, but like, it's one of those, you know, you know me, like, I, I have principles here, like, you know, live and let live, right? I mean, this is no different than like, yeah, people said dream stands in the, in the chat. I mean, basically. Really do that you know? well you commanded the whole room to say that you're the most i mean you won a contest about hundreds of people yeah and that's probably the most the, the most outgoing i've ever been my name's greg fawcett i'm papa 2012 i won in 2012 gotta look like hemingway um, i would like to go back and do some marlin fishing with him on uh, his boat you know he was like a man's man he was a sportsman a fisherman a hunter a boxer the booze of boats and the boobs. Ernest Hemingway, hell of a writer. I think I might have had as many concussions as he did. When I was in school, he was required reading. And I went to high school about a, well, about a mile from where he was born. Although our school wasn't built yet. I mean, he was like notoriously a piece of shit. I never knew him personally, but if I did, I would probably be like, you're a piece of shit. But he like drank a lot, which like same, but like, don't like beat your wife. Guys, we're gonna go get we're gonna go get slushies and stop being trolled. No, no, he's not a bad guy. No, no, no. He loves all the he loves Spain. He loved everybody in Spain. We're learning stuff with each generation. All right. So all right. We've got a whole like thousand what? years to learn stuff, and so it would make sense that the people know the year thousand years, like you know, as we go on. You know. That's what they're doing. They want to close you out to make them you be like them and the way they want you to act. Ernest Hemingway made his home here in Key West. This is literally 1984. Don't beat your wife. What the fuck? <laughs> if I want to beat my wife like Ernest Hemingway, I should be able to do that, okay? You know, he hunted a lot of things. Lions, tigers, elephants, even man on occasion. You know, there were rumors. That was fourth marriage. They were up to some things. If you see the Ken Burns uh, series on, on Hemingway, maybe he was doing something else on the side. <laughs> you think that maybe Hemingway swung both ways? I will say swing both ways with men, but I think his fourth wife, they had certain things that they did with one another or to one another. No. Oh, like he, like she was pegging him. Was that pegging? Okay, yeah. yes. Do you think you have what it takes to become the next papa? Yes, I do. I think I've got the look. I think I've got everything that goes with it. I'm a little more irrelevant than maybe some of the others. 
but uh, yeah, I think I do. Professionally, I work as a clinical psychologist. What does Ernest Hemingway mean to you, you know? I think Ernest Hemingway has a uniquely American message in his work because it's unapologetically optimistic. As a psychologist, does it trouble you that Ernest Hemingway killed himself because he wasn't a good writer anymore? That is an outcome that's not uncommon given his time, his <laughs> place, his life experience. For those of you who don't know, if I, if he was my psychologist, I would kill myself. Lol. <laughs> psychologist shows up. He's like, I'm Ernest Hemingway today. And how was your Hemming day, my friend? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. We're having a lot of fun here. How do, how do you Bray, want to go out? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Brace is a, has a podcast called True Not, friend of the show, Brace Belden, also known as P AKA Piss Pit Granddad, okay, AKA Mehmet on Twitter, AKA uh, co host the True Anon alongside the wonderful Liz Franzak and Young Chomsky. Um, they're great. The Dark Cowboy, uh, AKA Racial Jake, AKA Coin Dexter. Um, AKA, what else? Oh, the Gourmand, AKA the Gourmand, of course. Yeah, that's right. 90 years old, sneaking in a beautiful woman's bedroom and getting shot by her husband. Cash App is, in my opinion, the manliest app on the market. In if you fact, had him on the I show, I recognize him. Yes, I have him on right the show. now. He would use Cash App, but women can use it too, to send money from peer to peer. However, Cash App is more than a peer-to-peer -peer money sending service. It's a great way to go to for a free 15 bucks. Terms apply, guys. You have to actually have lived these stories. You need to have been shot at. You need to have been bitten. Fort Lauderdale Beach. I leaned on a kid's Camaro. He didn't like that. All I know is I got up off the beach. I was covered in sand, broken cheekbone, which still plagues me to this day. What's the closest to death you've ever come? Swimming with sharks, hanging with Jamaicans, hanging out with Colombians. What? What the fuck? Bro, he went swimming with sharks and just being racist. Like, what? The closest I've ever gotten to death is being around a Jamaican guy. Yeah, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was in New York. <laughs> oh, these. So what's up? Like everyone in fucking Florida is just like this. Is that what this is? Peggy's dangerous. Watch out. Yeah. Say no more. Your name is Dave Hemingway. Yeah. You're related to Ernest Hemingway? Not, not related. No, not related. Your na last You're name the is first Hemingway that ever won the contest. It takes uh, perseverance and somebody who's not overly concerned with winning. Because the Hemingway Society is more like a fraternity. So here we are. We're right now. We're inside Sloppy Joe's. It's the semifinals. All the dudes behind you right here, they're called the Papa Judges. They're all former contestant winners. You know what's funny? This just reminded me. Uh, do you guys remember the, I guess they'll let anybody in here, uh, dad joke that I fucking love. I met him. That, he kind of looks like Ernest Hemingway too. I met him at the fucking, uh, the streamies. Wonderful guy. Yeah. Yeah, he was at the streamies. I met him and his son, and I was like, bro, I'm such a fucking fan. I'm a big fan of you, man. I love your dad jokes. Yeah, and this just reminded me of uh, them because he kind of looks like them. They're going to judge the whole competition. Contestant Tim Stockwell. Thank you, Mark. Did you say the joke to him? You know it, dude. What are you, crazy? Immediately, I was like, oh, my God. You're the guy with the dad jokes. I guess don't let anybody in here. I fucking laugh at that so much. The excitement you bring is outstanding. Hemingway would say more badass shit than that. And if you give me the opportunity and the privilege to be a papa, I will work tirelessly. None of these guys are like, kill the giraffe or anything? So it's like... I like being here tonight. I'm often called out with it. Hey, Hemingway, I love your books into the uh bar in venice harry oh my god these guys fucking have nothing like they do not embody any of the qualities of hemingway they think like they think like being a bad bitch now kind of like akin to ernest hemingway was just like being able to say slurs you know what i mean
Paris bar, been to bars in Paris. And I want you to know that there are bigger fish than this out there. Oh my God, look at you. And look at you. And look at all of you. Just like Papa, I love Sloppy Joe's. And just like Papa, I love my rum. God damn, that was fun. My strategy is to be different. My strategy is to stand out. Throw it out there. Don't sit there me and mom blurring the microphone as I call it. Yeah, bro. This is like, they do this in the fucking, they do this in the fall. And then in the winter, they do the Santa competition. They just keep growing the, <laughs> they just keep growing the beard out. And then by winter time, they're doing Santa competitions. It's, like, it's a twofer. But a lot of positive energy, a, a, a lot of good, good vibes, and, and go out there and just put it out there. You got it, baby. We're here. <laughs> I didn't get the message about the damn Look at that, man. You see that? But you know what? I got something for you right now. A one and a two, and I'm just a wannabe who's walking wrong. We're I'm sorry, like. Call me racist if you want, but these dudes are literally the exact same person. I can't like if you were if these dudes were on a lineup and you were like just you know identify them as different individuals I would not be able to do it okay I know that that's kind of the point but like literally they just look too similar to one another <laughs> how do you pick one of them I mean how do you how do you pick one of these motherfuckers they're all the same looking well I'd like to pay naked when I sing this song we're back in Key West at old Sloppy Joe's. And what goes down from there, nobody knows. Hey, it's a drunken water beast drain. Yeah, baby! Oh, yeah. I'm crazy. Who's going to be Papa 2022? It is uh, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They just wrapped up the final round of the Hemingway Days competition, so within, within about 30 minutes, they're gonna announce the new Papa. Do you think the new Spider-Man movie's too woke? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but probably is, yes. Could you explain to me why you're a man wearing a Spider-Man costume with the Confederate flag who works for InfoWars? Well, we don't call it the Confederate flag anymore. We call it a rebel flag or a southern flag. Yes. You, you work for InfoWars? Uh, freelance. You know. How's the war going? Excellent. We're whooping ass. Nobody likes the New World Order anymore. I'm just surprised because I didn't know that Spider-Man had political leanings. It's not <laughs> politics anymore. It's war. Politics are over, dude. Politics are when you negotiate. No more negotiations. You're going to start war? No, we're going to militarize the border and legalize marijuana. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. What do you think Spider-Man or Peter Parker would make of the World Economic Forum? Uh, well, he would tell you that there's a reason that it's in uh, the capital city of Ethiopia. Okay, why is the Economic Forum headquarters in the capital city of Ethiopia, folks? Why? Because that's where King Solomon kept the Ark of the Covenant. I mean, that's where the Ark of the Covenant is, but that's where King Solomon's bloodline is when he married the Queen of uh, Sheba. So that's why it's there, yes. That's the only reason it's there. Otherwise, it'd be in Copenhagen or Washington, D.C. or somewhere else. Yeah. I, th I think it's in, in Belgium. No, the World Economic Forum for the UN is, uh, headquarters is in Abu Dhabi, Abu whatever, Abu Baba, uh, Ethiopia. Yes. And that, that's where the Ark of the, the Covenant is? The Ark of the Covenant is in Ethiopia, yes. Yep. You're the first guy I've ever seen that has something that's cool in my life. Oh, thank you. It's called Made in the Shade. Do you have an engineering background? No. Do you think the devil is real? Who? The devil? Nah, it's bullshit. <laughs> this guy's awesome. He was okay. He was a, kind of a pig, you know, he's married four times, divorced four times, had two wives, had one here and one in Cuba at the same time. You think it's kind of weird that all these guys are dressed like it? Everything's weird here, but you know, that's, you just let it be. For instance, I oh my God, I love him. They found the most base man in Florida. What the fuck? It's like, yeah, it's Florida. What do you think? I had a hooker that was, um, renting from me and she was saying that she was helping save men from ruining their marriages. I didn't understand that logic. But. Jeff is my favorite papa, but I don't think that he looks or acts anything like Ernest Hemingway. In a way, I think that- He's landlord? Yeah, no shit. He's a man over the age of 45 in Florida. What the fuck do you think they do down there? <laughs> like, wait, I I'm sorry. Have you guys been to Florida? What do you, what do you think? Wait, I'm sorry.
you think so what do you think the other guys are doing as a job like yeah no that was my expectation chatters yeah no they don't do hvac in florida no all no hvac is for alabama man no motherfuckers in florida are all landlords it makes him the most Hemingway like. Yeah. Hemingway being a man's man, radical individual. I mean, they're also all retired. Like, they're, that's why they fucking have, like, they, that's the nest egg landlord, you know what I mean? Jeff is Hemingway, not these other douchebags. I thought that the previous winners of the competition, the Papas, had sort of a smug attitude. I'm Ernest Hemingway. I mean, it's a lifetime appointment. The only other people in America who get that are the Supreme Court judges, and they just banned abortion. <laughs> The official punk shell champion of the US. Do you think win? We are happy to have you. Man, you are just passionate here tonight. Look at this. Love it. We have some heavy hitters on the schedule tonight. Heavy hitters. This is like unnecessary. This is way too loud for how old these men Damn, they found the sexiest one out of all of them. How do you feel, man? Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. I'm devastated. Totally devastated. But you know what? It don't get no better than this. Is there a part of you that feels like you kind of got robbed? No, not really. I know everybody on this stage that made it. Hey, it is what it is. There's something to be said for just like taking everything in stride, you know, oh, keeping yeah. it keeping it pushing. Sure, sure, you see it. We're having a good time. Appreciate you, Jeff. All right. Thank, thank you, God. man. How do you feel right now? You just won. Ecstatic. Can you describe the feeling of ecstasy? Uh, I wouldn't go quite that far, but uh, I'm just happy as I've been in a long, long time for sure. Why you? I've been here a while. This is all about an education fund. It's also about a family and friends. And uh, this is a very, very tight group of brothers. The more money you raise, the better chance you have. Really? Yep. Interesting. Wait, what? What's the most... The integrity of the fucking Hemingway competition is completely just destroyed. Oh my God, this was a big debate. I realize now that like 13 minutes and 44 seconds in, and we finally come to the truth. The Hemingway competition is compromised. What's the most confusing and mysterious? Yep. Interesting. Pays the better chance you have. Really? Yep. Interesting. What's the most What's the most confusing and mysterious thing that you've ever seen? Who's the guy? Okay, shut the fuck up. Who cares? Damn. Confusing and most Skinwalker Ranch. What it what is a skinwalker? A skinwalker is a shapeshifter out in the Utah Basin that the Indians, they've over the years, have said it's in the basin. It's a shifter. It, it can go from a person. It can go to a coyote. It can go to any certain shifts and a shapeshifter. But they have those out there in the Utah Basin where the uh, skinwalker ranch is. What do you think Ernest Hemingway would do if he saw a skinwalker? Shoot it. <laughs> He'd probably try to shoot it. What's the biggest bird you've ever seen? I saw a condor out at the, uh, in the uh, Grand Canyon. That's, that's how it ends, huh? That's crazy. Competition's bald phobic. I'll never be able to compete in it. Don't worry about it. I forget who, but you had someone on talking about that ranch. Yes, I did. I had Jack Wagner on.